Hey, what's up, y'all? Just coming to y'all real quick to do a recap, but look what we got going on out there. I told y'all my birthday was yesterday, right? I actually had sunshine on my birthday, but my mom said it was a blizzard when I was born. So this is usually what's happening on my birthday. So let's skip today. Shouts out to Ashley Miller. It's your birthday, girl. You're 10 years apart. She said she just turned 33, Aja. All right, y'all. So this is going to be Power. Still Dre, episode 11, season 6, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This is basically going to be a recap only. Um, now, it kind of had me jacked up because I thought they was going to be all in the um, interrogation rooms. Like getting interrogated for Ghost's uh, supposed murder. But, uh, yeah, it didn't leave off like that. They kind of um, played back through Dre's vantage point. And I feel like they're going to do that for the next four episodes. So who is, it, is left? It's, it's Tariq, Tommy, Tasha, Sex. Well, it's five more people. It's Angela's sister. Paz. So it's five. Oh, so that means four people supposed to die and then one get caught maybe? I don't know, y'all. But this thing, because I was like, what is going on? Because it played, it went all the way back to, um, let me see, y'all. He was singing to his daughter in the beginning. And, um, oh, yeah, this is just, you know, spoilers. I figured if y'all don't, you know, watch it already. I want to cancel this thing already. I didn't pay $8.99 for it. And it was crazy. So getting to know Dre a little better wasn't a bad thing, but is it too late? Um, that's the part that kind of made me sad a little bit because we saw how um, his his met up with his mom and mom was uh, coming out of church and basically the baby's mama. Now I don't understand that baby mama because. She was shooting up for him, and he rolled out with the baby mm-hmm. and left her there naked. They was naked because they was in the middle of getting the groove on, and the police busted, in and they started shooting. Was it the police? It was either police. I forgot who busted the room, y'all, after them. It might have been criminals or the police. It's probably criminals. I don't remember. Um, and she was riding for him. She's a ride or die. But he left her. So I'm like, what's the loyalty? And apparently she's from London because she said she oh uh, they want she wanted to go, she wanted to leave, and he's like, I'm not going back to London. And she said, We can go to my sister's house in Las Vegas. But um so he they needed money to get away. And she said, well, you know what you got to do, right? He's, and so I thought that since they still had Ghost was alive because they rewound it, that he was going to ask Ghost for the money. But so he snuck up behind his mama as she's coming out of church. And she's like, oh, don't shoot me. And she found out it was him. And she said, I can't believe you showing your face. She's a pretty lady, but um, she was mean. And she didn't know about the granddaughter. She's like, daughter? You have a daughter now? So, then we find out that, because he tried breaking her house later. She pretended she was asleep because he was going to steal some jewelry. 
and she had a gun on her. And she just said she didn't know what she did wrong to have a demon like him. And, and then he was talking to her about how she he called her, um, she called him a demon and wicked every day since he was like six years old. And for stealing a candy bar from Mr. Clark, I don't know if it's Mr. Clark's like convenience store, was it his house or what? But he stole a candy bar and she just called him a demon every day of his life since then. So he's like, well, how else did you expect me to turn out, mama? And then she lowers the gun and then he turns it on her. And I was like, oh, if he shoots his own mama, though. <sighs> oh, no. So he didn't end up shooting his mama. But he ended up with the jewelry and then he gets back in the car, the baby mama. And she's like, what are we supposed to do with that? And he was like, that's all, that's all we, um, that's all she had or whatever. Um, and this article that's kind of helping me out is from, it's called Famous and Made. So they were saying that. Dre has always been one of the more maddening ca characters to grace our screens. I liked Dre in the beginning. Because he seemed like, you know, he was trying to be a, the next ghost. Um, he has always looked out for himself and what he can do not only to protect himself, but enhance his position within a drug racket. If that means selling out a friend or killing basically anyone, he'll do that without skipping a beat. And the one thing that has made him more human uh, over the years was a relationship with his daughter. He, he loved his daughter dearly. But he also wasn't used, above using her as a chip to improve his status. And then outside of heaven, we didn't know much about Dre, but they showed us his mama and... Um, Feel, you know, we felt sorry for Dre after we met his mama, you know, because you couldn't help but feel sorry for him the way that she treated him. And probably because of his dad, you know, you shouldn't treat your kids that way because of their dad. They're not their dad. You know, whatever happened between you and them is, is not them. He's a part of her as well. So, um. And that's the thing, you know, would he have been a different man if his mom didn't talk to him that way? That's a big question, too. Um, let's see. It was just a lot of back and forth. You know, they had um, two bit and spanky in jail. Um. Dre was in there for what was he in there for? I think Ghost set him up because Tyreek had uh, brought him into the office and he was like, What are you bringing Dre here for? And he said, Well, I think he told him about Tyreek shooting that cop, Raymond Jones. So then he tried to, you know, have that covered up and all that stuff. So Dre got. Surrounded by police several times in this episode. And the first time he ended up getting out. And Two Bit and Spanky was going to stab him. And one of them was going to stab him. Probably Two Bit. Because Two Bit seemed more lethal than uh, Spanky. And. Because um, they had got caught at the warehouse. And that's why. Two Bit and Spanky were in jail, and they thought that Tommy had something to do with that. Um, this article says Two Bit was steadfast in his decision to keep quiet, not throw anyone under the bus, but Spanky wasn't as keen to spend the next 30 years in jail. So, yes, yeah, but so Spanky ended up being like a snitch, as they say, but this would have been Spanky's third strike. So, Spanky was like, uh, no. These two men have been around forever. 
They've been loyal soldiers, but when push came to shove, Spanky looked out for Spanky. Wow. When um, so Dre ended up getting arrested again because he had just had to do that last deed that uh, Tate, you know, played by Lorenz Tate, paid him a hundred thousand dollars, I believe it was, to kill ghosts. So, um, the baby mom was like, why don't we just go? We have the money. He said, he gave us the fake names and the license plates, so they're going to track us down anyway. So, he decided to turn around and go kill ghosts. Well, when he got there, he heard a gunshot and he ran up out of there and Blanca, Alexander <laughs> Rogers say, Chunky Hill. She don't move her lips when she talks. Uh, he, he, she was like, hey, and then he just punched her straight in the eye, and she fell out. She got knocked out. So he get back to the car like, you know, they going to make it. They going to get out of town. And I think they went to the gas station. And police surrounded him, and he's in jail again. So... Let me see. They had Dre. Um, when they finally had Dre cornered, that was two bit, two bit and spanky. He thought he might talk his way out of things. He was saying how they go way back from their little boys, but two bit and spanky were in too deep. Dre had to go all for all the sins of the past and all the people he exposed along the way, and and he died a brutal death. This has probably been one of the worst deaths power has had um, besides uh, the one my son always talks about, Charlie Murphy. It, when it, Charlie Murphy was a prison guard, Charlie Murphy, R.I.P. And um, goes to beat him in the face with that weight. That was that was tragic. And Raina, the death of Raina, that, 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 that wore me out, too. Like, that was just... That was terrible. But this, Dre's death, um, it was a horrible death. It was a graphics. They ended up, see, my cable, uh, it was, the internet was buffering at that part. Well, it was buffering through the whole thing. I don't know why it does that. Um, usually when I start it over again, watching Power does that for that first episode. And the other ones, they start playing. But they, it was a prison fight, I guess. That's what it looked like. And they put uh, Dre in solitaire. So it was white liquid in the bottle, and I found out it was alcohol. So they put the alcohol, I think it was Spanky, one of them, Spanky or Two Bit. Spanky put the alcohol through the little hole, little mail slot or whatever. They get their food in through the door. And Dre's like, we go way back, we're boys, and da 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 And um, they, I guess they had matches, they lit a match, and I said, oh my goodness. Wow. And you just couldn't help but feel sorry for him, though. It was weird, like, um... Like, when his, his baby mama and the baby was visiting... Before, you know, his death scene. And she said, you know, she, she had to call someone for help. And it was his mom. And I really don't understand that part. It's like, why did she have to call his mom when she said she could have went with her sister in Las Vegas? See, yeah, I'm not sure on that. And so he's like, Mom, you got to try to get me a lawyer. And she says, I'm going to do whatever I can for you, which you knew she was lying. And basically, she was telling the little girl, tell your daddy goodbye. And I was like, Dad, that was cold. And she's like, I'll make sure she's raised up correctly. I was like, oh, man. So he was hurt. He was hurt. Yeah, y'all. I don't know. It's four more episodes. Um, I don't know what... Power is planning on doing um, in the future. Um, I heard that 
We all should watch Power Confidential, which um, is the after show, I believe, that we'll get more details that, you know, we keep having questions about. So, yeah, um, I can't remember all the deaths that Dre did, but the one, the last, one of the last ones he did was with, uh, I think it was Big G, Big Grim. I forgot what his name is, y'all. And when Tommy found out about that, because he was like, because um, 2-Bit was calling him from a burner phone in a jail. He said, how do I know y'all still in there? He said, you can check our records and see we still in there. He said, we true soldiers. And he said, how do I know that? <laughs> and um, he was talking about Big G and blah, blah, blah. And he said, Big G is dead. I think it's Big G, y'all. I hate when I don't get the name right. Um. And he said, yeah, Dre, you know who sh who did it, who shot him. So that's why they was after uh, Dre in prison because of Big G, right? <clears throat> <sighs> All right, y'all. Um, if you guys saw this, what do you think? Do you think Ghost is really dead? Do you think they're just saying that he's dead? Because, you know, we didn't see the body drop. You don't know if he got rushed to the hospital. Huh? I hope he can survive. I mean, he might be alive. You know, anything can happen on the show. Um, were you guys um, sympathetic to Dre? Um, do you think he got what he deserved? I don't think anybody. Oh, my gosh. That was a horrible death, yo. So, I don't know. I might do these little recaps every week. It's only four more episodes, so it shouldn't be too hard to do. Um, I guess that's all I wanted to say. I just wasn't expecting it to be rewound to uh, Dre's vantage point, but it was interesting. I um, to see it through his eyes, cause I thought it, I didn't know what they were doing, but then I said, "Oh, I saw this scene. Like some scenes we had already saw already." So I was like, "What is this?" So yeah, um, it's hard to see what angles uh, people come from. All right, guys, don't forget to like the video, thumbs down the video if you didn't like it. Is it snowing where you guys are? Um, and don't forget to subscribe also. And thank you for all the new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Love y'all.